Right, first time in front of the camera. First time for everything. So you may remember in the previous video that I announced that I had some TSW Venoms to go on the Colt. Uh, well, I've decided to do some uh, Max Power inspired uh, modifications, add-ons, you could say, um, to help go with that sort of style I'm going for. Sort of like a nod to the Max Power era, seeing as I did grow up with it. Uh, so I went on eBay, had a look. Uh, obviously not much you can do with a Colt, so have to improvise. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the first first modification I've got. So, first one is some eyebrows. Sprayed with the rattle can, not the greatest to finish as you can see. Apply some double sided tape, hub stick it on. I've just washed the car, so that should help. Right, let's get cracking. I've now wiped the headlights with some white spirit, although I have now washed the car. Um, it probably isn't 100% clean. I'm now going to use a heat gun. Yeah, it's bloody cold, cold out here at the minute, being winter, so uh, every little advantage I can get will help. I don't have a garage, so it'd be impossible. So yeah, let's go warm it up. Try and peel these with one hand. So, just a case of lining up the back edge. That looks pretty good. Let's go slightly further back. That's probably a little bit better. Not tricky with one hand. Firm push. Not too great there, is it? I don't know whether it's just the the design of it, the shape of it, being fairly thin plastic. Don't know. I'll find out when the bonnet shuts. Right, I'll do the other side and I'll be back in a minute. Right, that's the other side done. Right, moment of truth. Well, the bonnet should shut fine. Don't look too bad. Quite like it.
awesome. All right, on to the next one. So the next two aren't exactly max power, but like I said, very limited on what you can do without spending a lot of money chopping, modifying to fit. Uh, Gone like the universal route, much cheaper. Should be a lot less time consuming. But yeah, the first one uh, is to do something to do yeah, get my words out. Something with this aerial. Seems to be a common thing for the rubber seal around the roof aerial to perish. As you can see, mine is pretty non-existent. So, decided to go with a universal shark fin. I think these are very marmite for some people, but we'll get rid of that awful looking aerial base, make it a little bit tidier. Um, various colors, various sizes I think available. Um, I went for this one, it's just gloss black. Hopefully that'll match the paint fairly well. Um, the paint's non-metallic, so hopefully it shouldn't have an issue. So with these, unscrew the mask put this down so they dry this goes over the top to cover it then what you do with the connection is inside the box is a little threaded stud you screw that into where the existing uh, aerial mask was put a, a nut on first ring terminal on another nut on to secure it and then there's a double sided um, sticky gasket that goes on this white base um, stick it on the roof and there we go and the hardest thing is going to be getting it central but uh, what I'll probably do is put a line of master tape along the roof Mark out the middle, mark out the center of the front, and that way, hopefully, it's central. So yeah, I'm gonna put the camera down for that because uh, I don't think I'm gonna do it one-handed. And there we go. All fitted. The sunlight is terrible. Such a difference. Nice and slow. Awesome. On to the next one. Right, this last one, um, even I'm unsure of it. But we shall see. Some may recognise this, some may not. This is a universal spoiler. I said like that. Gloss black, one big length of it, cut to size. Got some end caps and double sided tape. Right, so idea is to make an extension that goes on this spoiler here. Try and hold this with one hand. Something like that. Probably won't go all the way round. I think it may look a bit odd. I don't know. What we'll do is uh, cut it to size first, stick it down with some master tape, and uh, see how it looks. This is going to be interesting. Can't go all the way to the end. One, because the cap won't look right. And two, the spoiler's quite curved. Um, although this curves that way, it doesn't really curve sort of round. So I think if I just do it up there, just before 
where it meets the, the actual bootlet itself might be all right, but I don't know, trial and error. Luckily, I've got a spare one of these because the first one didn't arrive. So if I balls this up, then I've always got another to go back on. But um, yeah, let's measure from here to roughly where I want to start. Cut the, the lip to the right length and uh, see how it looks. So I got it fitted. I had to trim it a lot shorter than what I wanted it. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. The only problem is, I don't know whether it's too cold or whether the sticky um, self-adhesion tape that they supply you was crap, but as you can see, it's not sticking down this side. So what I'm going to do is pull it off. Now I know it's trimmed to shape. Buy some decent double-sided tape, the same stuff that I used for the eyelids and perhaps try it on a warmer day. Yeah, look, let's just pull it straight off. Too crap. But yeah, that's the idea. I think that'll look quite good. It's just not right on there, but the end caps are a nice touch. And there we go. I don't know, I'll see see what it's like when I've got some decent tape on there. If not, I might just pull it off.